Hello guys, once again welcome back to the channel Rahul Automation Studio. So hey guys, in this video I am going to explain you one method uh, of the Selenium that is a clear method. So how you can clear uh, the value from a text box. So I will explain you one scenario. So how it will be useful and where you can use uh, the clear method. Suppose you have a one website and you have to write down the test case to update the customer details or update the account uh, profile details, right? So suppose we have a one website and uh, there we have one account is there, right? And uh, one account and there is one address for it, right? If uh, one account is there, so definitely there will be one address. And now the scenario is as you have already entered the address. So now you have to update the address, right? So you have to update the address. So suppose address, old address is there, right? So in old address, some value is there, X, Y, Z. Now you have to enter new address. So new address suppose is Rahul Automation Studio. I mean, it can be address or it can be name. So that we will see uh, in the profile what you want to get. Suppose you want to update it in name. Suppose we are not updating address or you can update the address also, not an issue, right? So some name is there and you have to update some name because you have not entered the complete or correct name. Suppose you have to enter this. So for that, first of all, what you have to do or whatever name or if there is address, you want to update the address. So in that case, first you have to clear the value from the text box. And after that, you have to enter the new value in particular text box for name, right? So how you will clear the old value, right? You have to clear the old value for it. So how you can clear for that, we have to use the clear method, guys. So now, uh, this is a one website where I have created a dummy account and this is the username and this is a password. So now uh, already there is uh, one name and address is there. So I will try to update it. So for that, first we have to clear the old values and then we have to enter the new value. So how you can clear the old values from the account from the text box that we will be seeing in our example. And the same website guys, you can also use for your practice. And now let's uh, go in our Eclipse and do it practically, guys. So first of all, uh, this is a Maven project and I have already done the setup for it. And we will create a one Java class, right? So in one Java class, we will give the name as uh, clear text box, right? And uh, we will include the main method in this. Just click on finish. Okay, guys. Uh, I will just zoom it. And uh, we already have this code to launch the Chrome browser. We will be doing this practice in the Chrome browser. And this is the code to launch the Chrome browser and to open a URL. So we will replace the URL. Uh, with our dummy URL, here we will practice this clear example and uh, clear command, right? So let's replace this method like this. Okay, this is the username password. So let's first of all launch it and then we will go on the website. So guys, this is a dummy website and I already have created an account. So for that, first of all, you have to do the sign up. And once you will click on sign up, I mean, you will enter some name and email and address and you will create your account. So I have already created the account. Now I need to update the details. Suppose I will be updating the name. Suppose you have entered some name is here. And once you have created the account, but in the later point of view, you want to update your name. So in that case, what you will do, you will be removing this value, right? So we will be see how you can remove the old values from the account. So just let's try to log in. So do you have for the login? First of all, 
you have to enter the username and password so just inspect the username and password and then we will be continuing with our example so here we can use the id and let's quickly write down the code to reach on your account details so for that we will write driver dot find element by dot id and there we will write dot send key send keys is the method guys if you want to send any value and the username for our website is this for our account right so we can just simply write down the value in the similar way we will you do for the password also driver dot find element by dot let's see how we can identify it for the password so for the password we can identify with the id itself so by dot id right just yes dot id and in this we have to use send keys method and the password for it is one two three four five six so same we can enter there right now we have to click on the button so let's inspect the button this is for the button sign in submit class right so we can use sign we can use this also right so this is the input and just copy it slash slash input this equal to let me just zoom it so that you can clearly see how to write down the x path for it and this is the x path for your button so just copy and we have to use x path this time so driver dot find element by dot x path dot click method we have to use to click on a button so once we will log in and after that we have to go on the account for which we have to update the details so just we will go on that step and we'll continue further so once you will do the login and after that uh, guys you can see this icon this icon is for your profile so you have to go on your profile just check the x path of this and uh, so user is there right so we can take at this user copy and this is an anchor tag right anchor tag at the red this equal to user this is the x path and there are two so first one is for us we will use the indexing guys so this is the x path right so just copy it and uh, so same we can use this one we have to click on it this is the x path we have to use to click on our profile so this is the way right now once you will click on it after that you have to click on edit profile so let's inspect this edit icon this is the way just this is an anchor tag and whose text value is equal to edit profile but with this there are two right so our is second one we will same way we will use the indexing for it 
right now this is the xpath to click on edit profile so again we will just copy this line to click on it right and uh, we will use this xpath to click on edit profile so this is the i'm explaining the exact scenario and exact test case that can be there guys and you have to write uh, in the same way so once you will click on edit profile you will go on the edit details page you can see guys so here you can update the details so here you can see you can update the name you can update the location right and also you can write down any value which is not you have filled at the time of creation your account but now you can update and save it but in this example we have to see how to use clear values so address is not there so guys we have we can use and we can change the name so suppose uh, the name is rahul here and we want to give some different names suppose we want to give rahul automation studio so how you can update it or suppose some different name is there like this name is there and we want to update it with the correct name rahul automation studio so now this name is there right so how you will remove this value so first of all you have to inspect this text box and the text box you can see uh, you can identify it with the name of id so just copy it and you have to use driver dot find element by dot id you can use id and we have already copied the id for our updating the profile name now you have to use here guys this clear method you can see this clear method you have to use clear method and if you will see the explanation if this element is a form entry element this will reset its value right so we have to use clear method guys on this once it will clear after that you can re-enter some different value first of all let's see if this will clear the value or not so just right click on it and run as a java application let's see if it will do uh, it has launched the browser and uh, it has to do the login yeah it is doing the login after that it has to click on yeah profile now it will click on edit profile so it has not clicked on edit profile looks like some issue is there let's see in the console so it is saying no such element exception right so and for this xpath let's inspect again this xpath is it is there or not and then we will conclude on some conclusion what can be the error this xpath is correct so what i believe there is a synchronization issue because once it is clicking on the profile icon it is taking some time to load this space right so for that we have to add some weight and uh, for now we can add some static weight guys right i will explain you about dynamic weight also in my coming videos that how you can apply the dynamic weight and what is the advantage of applying the dynamic weight but for time being we will be using the static weight and we will apply for six seconds six thousand means to say uh, 6000 is milliseconds so once you will convert in second it is equal to 6 seconds so it is equal to 6 seconds only and uh, now you can see it is throwing an exception so we will throw in the method that is interrupted exception right now it is done and uh, I think once we are clicking on edit profile also uh, there also uh, we should add some weight so here we will try to add only five seconds wait and now let's let's close all the browsers and then we will run it again guys just right click and run a java application let's see 
so weight is necessary guys because synchronization between the application behavior response time and the execution of your script should be matched otherwise uh, the test case will fail for you you can see it has taken some time to load this phase that's why we have added some static weight now it is working and it has clicked on that profile added profile and now it has to clear the value you can see guys the name the value which was there before the value has been cleared now and after that if you want to update some different value you can enter some different value in place of rahul and you can click on save profile it will be saved for you so you can see our test case is passed all the steps it, there is no failure so it is passed and i think from 5 we can increase it to 3 because it is taking less time once we are clicking on edit profile and uh, once the value is clear we have to write down the new value right so just click on it same id we can use and now we have to use send keys and in the send keys method we have to update the name that is rahul automation studio right and once it will we will enter re-enter the value we have to click on save profile right so we will find out the x path for it also let's see what is the x path for the save profile this is a button guys so we have to do the click action on it let's inspect this save profile so this is an input name value is there class is there form validate or save profile we can use it with the name of value attribute so value right so this is an input at the rate value equal to this right so this is the x path for the button just copy this and here we can use the x path just write down this x path and after that we have to click on this element right perfect now so what we have done guys so we have done the login we have gone into our profile account after that we have clicked on edit profile once we are clicking we are changing clearing the old value for our name and again we are re-entering some correct value for our profile and we will click on the save profile so let's uh, try to execute it and we'll see so this is a guys complete scenario that i am explaining here so how you can update the account details uh, for your website or for your account so this these will be the kind of test cases or scenarios you have to automate in your real time and you can see the site is also looking i know real time website because i have taken this real time website and uh, you have to do same kind of testing uh, at the time of your project so you can see it has done guys so Raul automation studio and your name is already reflecting in my profile Raul automation studio and it the file has been saved guys right so this is how you can update you can clear the old value from the textbox and re you can re-enter some new value in your textbox and you can update your details same way you can update it for your location also and if any other field is there that you want to update definitely you can use the same way first you have to clear the value and then you can re-enter the value in it so i hope guys i am clear and uh, still if you have any doubt you can always reach out to me you can comment in my video and uh, if you have any doubt you can also ping me in my telegram account telegram group please feel free to comment in my videos so thank you guys and if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and share with your clicks thank you all thanks bye